Hello folks, time for another video and Frankenshade. Ooh, Frankenshade, what is that? Well, I actually think I did Frankenshade a couple of times, um, but now it's like a, a tag video. So uh, I was tagged by Jeremy Tyler over at the Traveling Shaver, but I've noticed that this uh, tag video has been going around. I'm not going to tag anybody because... I think pretty much almost everybody's done it. So if you have a YouTube channel and you haven't done the Franken shave challenge yet, well, what it is is take a bunch of soaps, mix them up together. So I picked today some chisel face product because I do have a lot of chisel face. Um, I've chosen Summer Storm. I've chosen... Ghost Town Barber. I've chosen Sherlock. And to totally jack this scent up, I chose Midnight Stag. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with Chisel Face, uh, it's by Groomatorium. They also make Stubble Buster. So if you're familiar with Stubble Buster too, and the reason why I picked Chisel Face was not because I have a lot of them. I also have that awesome uh, ten pack sample, but I've only used the the uh, Midnight Stag out of there. Now to me, by the way, Midnight Stag. The reason why I picked it was because as I was mixing this up, I chose originally these three soaps: the uh, Summer Storm, Ghost Town Barber, and Sherlock, and it kind of had a really nice almost. The same scent with a lot of like fresh grass clipping kind of scent that the summer storm, you know, will make it smell like. So I said, let me really mix this up and I'll put some Midnight Stag. Because Midnight Stag to me has that gasoline oil scent. So I threw that in there and I'll tell you what. I've already whipped it up in the timeless bowl. And <laughs> it smells like freshly cut grass. And a lawnmower that has exploded on your lawn. <laughs> so that's the scent. It's a little interesting here. Now, um, I've checked out all the chisel face soap. And the, all the ingredients seem to be the same. So I'm going to pop that up now. The ingredients right there. I believe all the soaps I use have the same ingredients. It's tallow based. Um, and by the way, one thing I like about chisel face. I know this is so minor. But the lid and their containers... If you take the lid, if you're especially if you're a person who lathers up in the container, you can just leave it like that when you're drying it out, so it doesn't get like you know lost. It's good, a good thing. I like when artisans do that. Anyway, um, equipment I'm using today is I'm using my molten silver brush, which has a uh, 28 millimeter Timberwolf knot that I put in there from. Uh, Maggers because the original that came with this brush fell out and um, I'm not even going to mention the artisan, but that's my Molten silver brush. It's one of my favorite bowl lathering brushes because of the size of the handle and it has a 28 millimeter Timberwolf knot from Maggards and razor I figure from Franken shaving it up I'm going to take the racer rack eco and put it on the Putali handle and blade that's in there, I'm using the crown half blades that actually came with the Eco. So that's the crown half blades. I know some people don't like this blade, but I've stayed with it a few times and I find it to be pretty decent. I do have two days of growth on my face. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a pre-shave today, even though I probably should, but I'm not. Alright, so we'll go with the Franken shave with the chisel face soaps. <coughs> Excuse me, a little tickle in the throat there. Just get the mouth wet. All right, so I'll just wet the face. And we'll go with the uh, four chisel face soaps. I'm just going to leave a leave a link to Groomatorium Chisel Face's website. Instead of listing all the soaps individually, it's just easier that way for me. 
And this is definitely a unique scent going on here right now. I have like fresh cut grass. A little bit of tobacco and some gasoline so it almost smells like my lawnmower blew up on my front lawn <laughs> take that as an interesting scent blown up lawnmower I was actually gonna take all the samples all 10 samples plus the other four soaps I had and mix them together but that would have been a weird deal so this is just a very unique scent it's not unpleasant it's just interesting it'll definitely wake you up oh there goes the air conditioning got all the kids home today doing virtual my granddaughter actually goes in one day Virtual the next, and then ends the second on off schedule. My son is 100% virtual, but my grandkids were over there because I think the internet was out at their place this morning, so they're here too. I could hear them on their school provided tablets or Chromebooks. My hair dried out quick this morning. I just got out of the shower, but by the time I set all this stuff up, my hair dried quick. All right, so gonna go with the Eco from Razor Rock with the Crown Half Blade in it and the Putali Packerwood Handle. This thing is so light. We'll see how it does. Oh yeah, and the crown blade. Well, wow, that's some serious feedback going on there. Yeah, it seemed like a, a fun one when Jeremy tagged me. I usually tag Jeremy. One of the tag videos because he's pretty good on getting them done. In fact, he did that pizza challenge along with the Franken shave challenge in the same video, which was pretty smart. Now I know some guys don't like. to be tagged in videos but I don't mind it's kind of fun and you know gets you some kind of content to do because after a while you start running out of content I was actually hoping that this shave was going to be my 400 subscriber giveaway video but we're still a sh little bit shy I believed when I checked we were about six or seven away from hitting 400 but hopefully we will get there that's weird I know I put my iPad in silent mode, but apparently not. I'll tell you one thing. I really enjoy this Eco Razor. I am so glad that uh, I was just watching, you know, Jimmy's from NYC wet shaving like, you know, a while back, a couple videos when he first got his Eco. Because I've always shied away from single edge razors i used to have a gem vintage one but i lost that in a fire so i never replaced it but yeah and this eco is very affordable 29 dollars with uh 
um, through Italian Barber and they send you a hundred blades with it, those crown blades. This residual, the residual slickness is pretty good on chisel face. As long as you get your water to soap ratio right, it'll be an awesome shape. Because I remember when I used to use chisel face way back when, I never dialed it in right. I always thought it was my water or anything like that, but it was just me not putting the right amount of water in there. Sometimes you know you feel like you're going to drown your soap, but worst case scenario, you can always add more soap if you're like if you're bowl lathering and you put a little bit too much water in there, you can always kind of spill the water out a little bit and uh, just add some more soap from the container. Now, if you load from the container, then you could just dry your brush out a little bit, shake it out. But this lather is nice. <laughs> kind of just smells like now it's just, all I'm getting out of it is just very, very fresh cut grass and gasoline. <laughs> so it almost smells like the lawnmower tipped over in the middle of a grass cutting session. <laughs> People would be like, well, that's weird. Well, that's what the Franken shave's about. All right, a little against the grain with the Razor Rock Eco. Yeah, the only thing I had to get used to with this razor is, is how light it is. Even the stock aluminum handle, very light that it comes with, but I put it on this Hutali Paka, Paka wood handle today, and it's pretty light too, but I think the best combo I like with this razor is with... The Rod George uh, handle the frog that Jill named. That handle gives it the perfect amount of weight. Because the head is very light on this. And I do use the little nylon washers. The black washers under here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But I do use a black washer there. Just so I don't have metal on metal contact with the head. The only issues I run into sometimes when I use a very light razor is I tend to push on the razor a little bit and that's not a good thing because you really don't want to push a razor. On your face. Wow, that is slick. I got soap all the way up my nostrils there. <laughs> but that is good. Now I'm going to be smelling that for hours. Going to be smelling that gasoline and fresh cut grass. <laughs> That's okay. It's not like it's that horrible of a scent. Yeah, Midnight Stag. I remember there was a brush pass around a few months back with uh, one of the Facebook groups I was in, and I went up using this the Midnight Stag when I and I washed it out, of course, when I before I sent it on to the next person. But when the next person got it, they were like, "Dude, what'd you do? Clean this out with gasoline?" <laughs> so the Midnight Stag uh, is also the Midnight Stag. Also, this is the older. Midnight Stag. I know now it's in a, I think a new formula. You can get in a new formula, but this is the older formula, with matches all the rest of the chisel face soaps I use today. This isn't the brandy new Midnight Stag. I don't have the splash, the Midnight Stag splash, but I heard it. Uh, it's pretty much like smells like jet fuel. <laughs> It's definitely a manly and unique scent. My wife can't stand it. 
She says it smells like, you know, when you spill gasoline on yourself. <laughs> but I don't mind it. All right, I think that'll probably do me nice. Oh, yeah, I am. Except for right here. I lied. Just a little tiny bit. But I hate pushing that because... That's the area that's always a pain for me. All right. I'm going to definitely end it there because I will do bad things to my face if I continue. Yeah, it's smooth. All right. Let's empty the old sea monster sink. Wipe down the counter. Cold water rinse. Not even cold, it's like like room temperature. Alright. Lancaster towel. Or as I call it, the Lancaster water magnet good stuff there well like i said i'm not going to tag anybody in this but if you're a youtuber and you haven't done this franken shave challenge or tag or however it's classified do it up i know it may seem a little goofy but hey it's kind of fun i enjoyed it I've done mashups like this in the past, but I've never been tagged in one like this. So back in the past, I just did it for fun. So, all right, it feels great. What I'm going to do is um, I really didn't pull anything out for this as far as post shave. So I'm just going to go with some Thayer's Witch Hazel. I don't know how good the cucumber is going to go with this funky... scent that I created today but it's good kind of like the cucumber it goes with a lot of a lot of soaps that I pick all right so just to recap the Franken shave we used or I used chisel face Ghost Town Barber, Summer Storm, which gave it that nice fresh grass clipping sh scent, and Sherlock, which gave it that nice little bit of kind of that tobacco -y scent. And I also finished the scents off in there with some Midnight Stag. I still have a lot of this left. I have two containers of this. Poof. <laughs> Gasoline and oil all the way. And Razor was the Razor Rock Eco with a crown half blade with the Paco wood handle from Putali. And the blades were the crowns. All mixed up in the timeless ball. Which was always does a good job. And I used my molten silver brush with 28 millimeter Timberwolf knot from Maggards. I'll try to remember to, to uh, put the knot in my description. I always forget that, so, but sorry, Maggards. Anyway, if you like today's Franken shave, and like I says, if you haven't done one of these, I'm not gonna tag anybody because I didn't really look who did it and who didn't, but if you haven't done a Franken shave, do it up. And uh, hopefully you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, psh, thumbs down and please subscribe we are only like i says you know like a handful of people away from uh, the giveaway so uh yeah so please subscribe to my channel and uh hopefully my next shave will be the 400 subscriber giveaway i hope if not i'll pick something else out to shave with and we'll eventually get there 
So, until next shave, Glenn signing off. <laughs> <laughs>